Imagine a world where the abstract becomes tangible, where the seemingly separate world of mathematics and law enforcement intersects in ways that defies expectations. At first, the idea of solving crime with math might sound like a wild leap of logic, an intellectual puzzle reserved for the realm of fiction. But as the layers unfold, what emerges isn't just a story about numbers, it's about connection, perspective, and the delicate balance between logic and humanity. Welcome to Numbers, a series that redefines how we perceive the power of collaboration between seemingly unrelated disciplines. This isn't your average crime drama, it's a show that challenges assumptions intertwining the perception of mathematics with the emotional depth of family, ethics, and sacrifice. Today we're diving into the heart of numbers, unraveling its themes and exploring the thought-provoking question it raises. How can equation bring order to chaos? What happens when science meets institutional boundaries? And perhaps most intriguingly, what does this story tell us about the enduring ties that binds family together in the face of life's toughest challenges? If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and explore my other videos after this one. And now, let's uncover the fascinating world of numbers. Chapter 1. Mathematics in the Field of Crime When you think of mathematicians and law enforcement, there is probably going to be some confusion among the public on how these two fields connect. They seem like two separate elements, with mathematicians focusing on solving complex mathematical formulas for their own means of entertainment. On the other hand, the job of law enforcement, whether it's local or federal, is to catch criminals and bring them to justice and at times peace to the public. However, Numbers highlights just how much interconnection there can be between fields that we as the viewers might not initially consider related, such as math and crime. The infinite nature of mathematical formulas means they can be used to solve any problem as long as there's data to work with. This idea is central to the show where the Epps brothers, one as an FBI agent and another as a renowned mathematician becomes the focal point. In the series, Charlie, the mathematician, provides his brother Don with ways to streamline the investigation process by using math. From solving kidnappings and murders to even investigating train derailments, Charlie's mathematical formula plays a key role in cracking tough cases. Over time, their relationship, though close before their collaboration, evolves into a mutual respect. For the first time, the two brothers bond over something they are doing together. Don finally starts to understand how useful the value of math can be, while Charlie begins to understand the sacrifices that Don goes through on a daily basis. Their newly built bond becomes the cornerstone of the series. At first glance, math and crime might seem confusing, but numbers simplifies these complex concepts for the audience to understand. Just like the agents working on the cases, viewers are given clear, broken down explanations of mathematical theories Charlie uses. The show also teaches both the characters and the audience the importance of not disregarding seemingly unrelated subjects, as they may hold valuable solution in unexpected ways. Chapter 2 Civilian Perspective on Law Practices As much as numbers is about the collaboration of how math can help solve crimes, it is also a narrative that offers viewers insight into how civilians perceive law enforcement and its practices. The show bridges the gap between these two worlds, presenting an unconventional perspective on crime solving. In many crime dramas, the team investigating the cases typically consists of individuals with backgrounds in law enforcement or criminal justice. However, Numbers introduces a fresh perspective by showing how mathematicians and physicists can approach case solving differently. Their outsider viewpoints reveals nuances that seasoned professionals might overlook emphasizing the value of unconventional thinking in traditional domains. From this external perspective, certain aspects of law enforcement practices may seem perplexing. For instance, why are some crimes categorized under specific jurisdictions, while others fall into separate domains? Why is so much information kept a secret among officers and agents, even when it concerns threats that could endanger civilians? Law enforcement officials poses knowledge and skills honed through rigorous training, whether at the police academy or institutions like Quantico for the FBI. Yet even with this training, some methods may appear inefficient, especially from the perspective of mathematicians. This disconnect between civilian logic and trained procedures introduces an element of curiosity and engagement. It's this lack of understanding, this sense of being an outsider, that makes civilian perspective both fresh and relatable for the audience. Viewers can connect with characters who, like them, are grappling with a system and concept they don't fully understand. 
This shared cluelessness fosters a deeper connection with characters who might otherwise feel distant or difficult to relate to. Chapter 3 Science versus Institution There is a fundamental bias between those who have faith in science and those who are obligated to an institution. No matter how collaborative these two fields may be, there will always be a conflict between these two perspectives. This difference becomes another focal point of the narrative, exploring the difficulties of how math can be applied to help the FBI solve crimes. The FBI as a government institution focuses on preventing crime, hunting criminals, and thwarting terrorist attacks. Even when following the law, they often take a headstrong approach, pursuing immediate action without waiting for the complete narrative. On the other hand, those in the field of science relies heavily on data and maintains a firm commitment to their moralities of right and wrong. Their decisions are guided by the belief that they are justified as long as they can see the complete truth in their methods. This dichotomy creates a natural conflict when Charlie collaborates with the FBI. Some agents remain skeptical of math taking a front seat over their instincts and traditions. To them, mathematical models might feel as ungrounded as voodoo. Although math often proves these skeptics wrong, a deeper issue persists. The fundamental difference between how math and law operates. From a scientific perspective, mathematical and scientific discoveries are meant to be shared universally, transcending personal beliefs or affiliations. However, institutions like the FBI prioritizes keeping certain findings classified, believing that secrecy serves the greater good. This tension raises a profound question. How can a balance be struck between these two opposing ideologies? While science may be right in one context and the institution in another, is there any way to definitively differentiate or reconcile these viewpoints? Chapter 4 Family Legacy Although Don Epps is the only member of the Epps family in the series with a badge as an FBI agent, the reality is that the series focuses much more on the dynamics within the Epps family than on the cases themselves. The cases serve as the perfect setting for their relationship to be tested and in most instances grow stronger as a family. Don, Charlie, and their father Alan each bring unique qualities to the table that makes the interactions both engaging and a fascinating exploration of familial bonds. Despite being entangled in the demanding and often unrelatable world of solving crimes and everything that comes with working at the FBI, the family dynamics they display are one that resonates universally. Like most families, they bicker and argue, but they also laugh and enjoy one another's company, making them relatable in their own way. Outside the crime-solving scenes or events taking place at Kalsai, much of the narrative centers on the Epps household and the dynamics within it. These relationships are the cornerstone of the story. Charlie, with his mathematical genius, provides Don with critical formulas and data needed to crack the case. Meanwhile, Alan, with his experience in construction and landscaping, often steps in to help his son in unexpected but meaningful ways. Alan's role is more than just practical sport. He understands the importance of what his sons do and cherishes the joys of witnessing his two sons working together, growing as individuals, and as siblings. He doesn't interfere with the responsibilities of their work, but serves as the glue holding the family together. His wise advice helps both Don and Charlie, now as adults, learn life lessons they couldn't have fully understood as children or teenagers. Ultimately, the life lessons Alan imparts adds a critical layer to the narrative, making the series about far more than just math or crime. It becomes a story about the Epps family, the growth, and the legacy they're building together. Chapter 5 Life's Priorities Life is full of missed opportunities. The road not taken often becomes a key reason why certain things are prioritized over others. For some professions, like law enforcement, this dynamic is especially pronounced. Such careers consumes one's life, often forcing individuals to sacrifice personal priorities in order to fully commit to serving the law. The obsession with solving a crime can be addictive. This addiction is not limited to law enforcement officers, however. Even consultants can find themselves captivated by the need to find answers. For many, solving a crime becomes a drug in itself. This single-minded focus can have devastating consequences. It has the potential to ruin relationships disrupt lives, and most importantly, erode one's sense of self. The more time a person dedicates to solving crimes, the less time they have for their own well-being. This life-altering choice is one that the Epps brothers grapple with throughout the series. Initially, the two brothers were not super close. Their different interests and intellect 
had created a rift between them. However, as they began working on cases together, that rift slowly healed. They started to care more about each other's personal lives and develop a deeper bond. Still, their work left little room for anything else. The only thing the brothers seemed to do was solve crimes. Charlie, for example, began dedicating most of his time to creating mathematical equations for investigations. This shift caused him to stop publishing papers in math journals and spend less time with his students. Even at CalSci, his academic focus was increasingly consumed by the problems tied to the FBI cases. As the series progresses, both brothers face a reckoning. They begin to realize how much of their lives they have given to the FBI. While they loved the work, they also came to see the need for something beyond it. For Charlie, this realization is especially poignant. Over the series, there becomes a growing fear among his friends, both at the FBI and CalSci, that he's wasting his prime years as a mathematician, pouring his talents into criminal cases instead of advancing his academic career. Yet, at the heart of it, all Charlie wanted was to spend time with his brother. The love the brothers share is powerful, but it raises a difficult question. How can one balance the demands of duty with the other priorities life brings you? This struggle between professional dedication and personal fulfillment becomes the main theme in their story. Chapter 6, The Ending Everything changes, but everything stays the same. This final phrase, uttered by Charlie, encapsulates the ending of a journey that redefined collaboration between two completely opposite career fields. Life is an ever-moving waterfall, and when things get too comfortable, one unexpected rock can shift the course of life. For six years, Charlie and Don worked side by side solving crimes bridging the gap between mathematics and law enforcement. Charlie's mathematical formula becomes one of the most effective tools for solving cases, transforming not only lives of the victim, but also those of the agents and the Epps family. Before this journey, Charlie had spent his life confined to a classroom, testing theories and solving equations, unaware of the broader perspectives of the world outside his bubble. Don, on the other hand, had entrenched in his lone wolf mentality, sacrificing every aspect of his personal life for a career he wholeheartedly believed in. Despite their individual strengths, it was their partnership that helped them grow, find balance, and forging a deeper connection as they worked together. Now, six years later, the catalyst that had brought them together begins to shift. Charlie heads to Cambridge to guest lecture for a semester, leaving behind the work that had made his life exciting for so many years to pursue a dream that he had long held for. On a parallel journey, Don begins further climbing the ranks within the FBI, even after considering it might be time for him to retire. Despite their physical separation, the bonds they built over the years will remain. Even as life changes, the dynamics of relationship that have been altered will endure. Change may be unsettling, but it doesn't mean everything has to change with it. And just like that, Charlie's parting words reminds us of an essential truth. While life changes, the bond we forge and the lesson we learn endures. Numbers challenges the misconception that math and crime exist in separate worlds, proving that even the most unlikeliest of combinations can solve life's toughest puzzles. Thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, leave a like, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you soon in the next review episode.